أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي رسول ولا الأمر منكم and always a reminder from myself and Abdul Aji Sadaifu, Miskeen, Uzzar, and Mujahab. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah, this last month of Rabbil Awal, the month of the birth of Sayyidina Muhammad and the birth of creation that Allah a hidden treasure wanting to be known and creating creation and that light in which creation is manifesting is called Muhammadun Rasulullah and that we're from that ocean and that reality and to that reality we come and to that reality we shall return, inshaAllah. The immensity of its, its blessedness, the immensity of its light and the celebration of Mirad al Nabi and recognizing, celebrating, honoring and living a life in which to honor the occasion of Allah wanting to be known. That's the, the depth of this reality that we celebrate Allah that the God Almighty wanted to be known and created creation created creation from a light of truth, a light of purity. Purity beyond our understanding of purity and from every light comes the secret and from every secret manifesting from a light. Nurul Anwar wa Sirat al-Asrar known as Ta-Seen, Tilka Ayat al-Qur'an wal Kitab al-Mubeen that Allah swears by this reality of Ta-Seen. Tilka ayat al-Qur'an that verily by the, the signs, this light and its immensity, by the signs of Qur'an, by the signs of its realities and that this book that lays everything to be clear, means that book is Sayyidina Muhammad and Allah is, is giving us that this power of this fire the purity of this fire is Holy Qur'an and when that Holy Qur'an is manifesting is Kitab Allah is Allah's book is manifesting on the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. And hence giving us a physical location for these Divinely Lights, Allah's Qur'an. That's why Ayatul Qur'an, these are the signs of the Qur'an because Qur'an is not created Divinely speech of Allah and its signs are manifesting on the book of Allah and we said before now we are at a place in our technology that the book is not a physical book. For any technology you have God must have far more advanced. Our book is whatever you want to cast it on, whatever device you have an app will be sent, you download Qur'an onto whatever device you have, a TV, iPad, computer, phone. Means that Allah's kitab manifest everywhere, manifest in this world of light. And by swearing to the realities of Qur'an, by all the signs of Holy Qur'an and my clear book that one whom is created in truth and clarity in which his reality has no crookedness. 
that enter into that fire, into that reality, to that dressing and to that blessing. So alhamdulillah Rabbil Awwal is the opening of the secret of Ta Seen and that Allah is, is granting us an opportunity from an ancient reality Allah created these parda, this, these veils. Its admission is the admission of truth. Its entry has no fee but requires an admission that I'm accepting La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah and its doorway and entry is the acceptance and the love of Muhammadun Rasulullah Once that love is there they accept the milad, they want to celebrate the milad, they want their whole life for that birth of that reality within their soul and within their heart. And later only Allah come into our lives and explain that that is the celebration of Allah Allah is a hidden treasure wanting to be known, He's going to be known by His creation. And that's why Surat Ar-Rahman is the abode of all saintly souls. Allah has stored a secret of the souls of heavenly saintly people in Surat Ar-Rahman because Allah gives and hints to us the immensity that remember, don't, don't you want to be and show thankfulness to me for the vegetation I've given to you, these fruits I've given to you, these dates I've given to you. Allah is, is showing in our character, why you don't show thankfulness? Why don't you want to be thankful for what I have given to you? And what type of a, a liar or a kazab or somebody who forgets and it's a strong word Allah is, is to kaziban is using that how you can forget and not be thankful for what I have given to you. All of Surat Ar-Rahman is a, is a description of Allah wanting to be appreciated, wanting to be loved, wanting to be recognized. And why don't you thank me for all of these things that I give to you? Then imagine that the greatest thanks and the greatest praise is that Allah brought us into existence so that we would know, know of the reality of Allah So this is the greatest praise, this is the greatest recognition that, Ya Rabbi we thank you for all that you bestowed upon us but the greatest thanks and the greatest praise is that you brought me into existence to love you, to know you, to find you. And that's the reality of Mira the Nabi because it's the reality of Prophet is what Allah wanted to be known by. The purified creation, the purified example, the best example of Divine reality, the best example of the Divine names and essences, all of those have to manifest in creation for us to understand what is generosity, what is Divine beauty, what is Divine grace, what is Divine compassion. We use it by, by examples, when you think somebody is compassionate in life Say, SubhanAllah that Allah's compassion is, is far beyond the kindness of this person. So we can only understand Allah by creation and that gives us these guide points of these beautific characteristics. So the best of creation is the example on how to know Allah And that's why the companions described that Prophet was walking Qur'an means embodiment of Qur'an, whatever you knew from this kitab, we knew it as Prophet was a walking Qur'an. And compassion, we didn't know compassion in that time until we experienced the compassion of Sayyidina Muhammad Generosity, love, compassion, forgiveness, all these beautific characteristics are why 124,000 holy companions reach the state of immense perfection and love for the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad 
overwhelmed by the Divinely Presence and the Divinely Character of Sayyidina Muhammad So it's immense, the milad is an immense, immense celebration for creation coming into existence, for Allah God Almighty to be known and to be known by the best of creation. So alhamdulillah that Allah give us this immense reward in Rabbil Awwal that enter into this flame of Divine Love and Divine Ishq. Now what we touched upon last night is that in these times of deceit, this fire that we're looking for is veiled by illusions and that's the danger of deceit. Because of the time of the magician and the magic show and all that shaitan and dajjal are bringing of deceit. So means when we're looking for the fire of Divine Love, shaitan is going to switch these. The concept of the dajjal and the, the man of deceit is what Prophet described for us is that he's going to hold a fire and coolness. He's going to tell people what is hell and what is paradise and know because he's a magician and a shaitan that it's exactly the opposite. There's an illusion that what is a paradise for us he will give the illusion of a fire. And what is a fire for us he gives the illusion of a paradise. So he's made this earth like a paradise for people. They're engaging and indulging in this earth thinking they are in paradise, all along they are making their way into Jahannam. And he makes the way of Jahannam to be so far away that people not even think of it. Means that in the time of Sayyidina Muhammad because that deceit was not there. Prophet talked to his companions, come with me and their path was like a path of immense difficulty, immense suffering so that they could reach paradise. And now people are thinking they're walking through paradise to get to paradise. But actually they are walking to what they perceive a paradise but step by step they are deeper into their jahannam. So we don't know if that makes sense to people. Holy Companions came in, battled two times a day, fasted in 150 degree, 120 degree temperature, continuous suffering, continuous struggling. That if you looked at them it was like hell on earth. Complete difficulty, complete struggling. Why? To reach paradise. But because of the time we're in, Dajjal has shifted it. So makes everybody to look like they are walking in paradise but all along they are going deeper into Jahannam. They think their life is like paradise, oh this is like paradise, what I'm doing is like paradise, this experience is like paradise. No, it's not like paradise. The Holy Companions, their, their way of paradise was immense difficulty. But because we live under the state of dajjal and the illusion of, the, of this deception, this is the danger that we face, that our true paradise is veiled and it looks like a fire and people say, don't go there. And that which is our true hell and our true abode of difficulty in which we'll be punished and questioned within that realm and they make it look like it's a paradise, go, go look, oh look these people they're oppressed, these poor people, go, go stand for their rights and, and do good and do good deeds, you're earning your ticket into hell. Those are the abodes of Jahannam. And this is the immensity of the danger of what Dajjal is putting upon this earth and what Prophet warned, warned for us.
But be careful, you're in a time of a magician and this magician is going to make everything beautific. If you see it as beautific, know that it's a fire. And if he tells you something is of a fire and no, avoid that, know that behind that veil is actually your ticket into paradise. And that becomes the immense difficulty of this world right now. And very few can traverse this without heavenly support. The concept of the madad, the concept of the meditation, the concept of making the connection is for exactly that reason. As soon as they're able to make their connection, their portal and their vision in towards heavens is to be clarified through the illusion of what Dajjal has put upon this earth. Means in the boat of what he's making their lives like a paradise, they begin to meditate into the real paradise. That that's not paradise, your comfort and ease is not your paradise, the money that comes to you is not your paradise, the luxuries of life are not your paradise. Stop within his illusional paradise and connect into your heart to reach God Almighty's real paradise. The energies and the Divinely Presence that flowing within the heart of the servant, connecting with awliyaullah to bring the Muhammadan paradise into their home and into their hearts and into their beings. As a result they can walk into that Divinely garden of grace and beauty and to be dressed and to be blessed. And only in that garden can they receive the coordinates to understand how much of an illusion is now taking place upon this earth. We actually post about articles and issues and people write in the comments, is this a bid'ah and haram? Do you think if you have a mind that a shaykh is posting a talk and a discussion that he would post something that is a bid'ah and haram? Means you're dajjali and you've been fooled and that's exactly the discussion we're talking about. That they're presenting to you paradise and you're coming with a dajjal belief and you still see it as a fire. You see now the danger? These are protections Allah's giving. These are the zikrs and the connection with awliyaullah to reach the paradise. And dajjal has fooled them to think, no, no, this is a fire. How this is a fire? How, how this is a difficulty in your life to connect with pious people when all day long you're connecting with Kanye West and every rap star and every singer on earth and looking at everyone's face and everyone's feet and every influencer influencing you into the depth of hellfire. And you think connecting with heavenly people is going to be your problem that Allah asks about? You think Allah really going to question you, oh who are these holy people that you're new in your life? and that you wish to be in their company and that you wish to support them and be with them, I have a problem with that. That's what Dajjal has done. Every time paradise is presented, he's veiled people to think it's a fire and they're so influenced by their Wahhabi teaching, Dajjali teachings, satanic teachings they can't get the fire out of their eyes and out of their heart and that's the danger. When you see those types of comments coming through that's exactly the subject that Prophet was warning us. That no matter what we present of paradise they're so veiled and they see it as a fire in hell. And whatever we tell them is a fire in a hell. They say, no, this, this is the correct way to paradise. May Allah save us and protect us, grant a softness and khushya within the heart to listen to heavenly guidance, to take a path in which we are weak and humble servants. You know, approach your Lord with humility, Ya Rabbi, I know not, I know nothing. Other than if you guide me and keep me into the company of those whom you love. Keep our hearts always to be empty, our cup to be empty, our heart filled with love but our cup to be empty in a path of humility 
The one who walks in humility is continuously supported by Divinely Presence. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us with these oceans of humility and that give us a strength and a certainty in our spiritual vision so that we see the fire that is really dajjal. Whatever he produces and shows of a paradise, of a benefit that's what we keep trying to talk to people to listen. Do you think that people in suits are caring for your rights when your life and the life of your women and children not more than 10 cents in value of a bullet for them. Only one who cares for your life is Allah and Sayyidina Muhammad All other is an illusion and delusion. So when they hear they have to understand with their heart that these are those paradises of Dajjal. But putting everything that come to us, we will help you. Come to us, we will heal you. Come to us, we will save you, we want your rights. Come to us. No, it's all Jahannam, all Jahannam and they want nothing from that. And this is the time in which we live that Prophet warned, oh when they start talking about helping you and giving you paradise, run, run and seek out those whom are with Allah Nabiin, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin. Allah said, they are the best of company. Who are you going to find that are with Nabiin and Siddiqeen and Shuhada and that they have one amongst them whom their hearts are open and mushahada that they witness what Allah, Allah wants them to witness and they're surrounded by Salihin. Means these are the, the circles of zikrullah. What we told you in the month before Allah is defining very clear. Look to the right and left of you, if you think you're in this cave of safety, you must be surrounded by the people of zikrullah. Because in the last surah we told you Allah said, never, never ask anyone that is not in the remembrance of Allah if the devil made him to forget the remembrance of Allah how he's going to benefit you? Now we're in the cave, we look right and left in our life and Allah giving us all our understanding, stay within the cave, stay with the people of dhikrullah whom their hearts are in continuous remembrance of Allah and we describe that in that cave Allah gives to us glad tidings that I've, I've given my command to the eyes of Prophet to never pass you by. Those whom are busy in the cave purifying and cleaning and perfecting themselves, Allah asks from Prophet don't let your nazar pass them for the fancy people of the dunya. But keep your nazar upon these pious people whom they busy themselves praising Allah asking for Allah's forgiveness in Ahl dhikr And this is the power of the cave and the people of the cave. We pray that Allah give us more understanding because we're going to see so much fitna all around and on television and here, there and go here, go there, people are going to help you, we want your right, we want this. Oh. All of that is a disaster, disaster and the people of the cave stay in your cave. The people of the cave do your zikr and make your connection. Bring your paradise into your living room and into your heart. Busy yourself within that circle of paradise and leave the fitna outside the cave because Ashab al kaf told us, we have to leave what they worship and what they believe least they turn our hearts against Allah That's what's happening, that's intensely what's happening. Don't leave the cave otherwise you risk the danger of losing one's faith and losing that connection. Means a life that's continuously retreating into our hearts doing our zikr, doing our practices, keeping our muraqabah, keeping the love for Allah and the love for Sayyidina Muhammad and the Holy Companions and Ahlul Bayt.
and only Allah fi samai wa fi al-ard inshaAllah. Subhan rabbika rabbil izzata ma yasifoon wa salaamun al-mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa in the Seer Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.